Germany is a country of laws. Some of them are pretty strange. For example, you can't let soap suds get into the groundwater, so it's essentially illegal to wash your own car. Some of them are pretty unique. For example, on some autobahns, it's legal to drive your car as fast as you want. Given the relevance of Germany in modern geopolitics, it's important for everyone to understand how German laws are made. So let's take a completely fictitious example, like uh, Bielefeld, Germany. And let's take our buddy Sven, and say this happened before you could drive like a nut on the Autobahn. And Sven says, look, I work hard, I pay my taxes, I have this really cool German car, I want to be able to drive as fast as I can. Sven's best place to start would be to convince the federal government, meaning the chancellor or federal ministries. This is where two-thirds of laws originate. So Sven would hope to get somebody there, you know, probably the Minister of Transportation in this case, to propose the bill. Once a bill has been proposed, it's typically sent to the Bundesrat, a council that represents the 16 state governments. They can't really vote on the bill or change it at this point, but they can offer an opinion. I think Sven should be able to drive as fast as he wants. Next, the bill goes to the Bundestag, the federal parliament, where it's debated and committees are designated to review the bill and make amendments. At a second reading at the Bundestag, the bill is read and debated again. If no amendments are suggested, members can proceed to a third reading and vote on it right then and there. If not, it will require further debate before a third reading. In either case, it requires a majority of the Bundestag to move forward. Sometimes that's just over 50%, sometimes it's two-thirds. The threshold depends on the situation. In this case, the bill, now called an act, is kicked back to the Bundesrat. And if they approve, and the majority necessary depends on the kind of bill in question, it goes back to the federal government to be finalized. If the Bundesrat has problems with the bill, then they create a mediation committee with Bundesrat and Bundestag members to try to iron it out. Once the act is approved, it goes back to the federal government where it is signed by the appropriate minister and chancellor. Next, it goes to the president who can veto the law. I don't want Sven driving a million miles per hour in my streets. But the president very rarely does this. Once the law is signed, it's published in the Federal Law Gazette, and 14 days later, it becomes law. So drive on, Sven. Drive on, you crazy diamond. <laughs>